Okay, so back in March 2022, I was sent my first 3D printer. This is an Elegoo Neptune 2S, and I've been super impressed with it. Really, really easy to use. Uh, it uses an SD card, as well as other methods to be able to print from. I've got an SD card in there, so if I tap printing, you can see that this cable holder for a car charger has come up. And here it is printed out, and it does work great, although I did use a setting which used less filament, so it's not quite as strong as I'd like it to be. And the reason I did that is because it takes so long to print. Well, yesterday this arrived, a Neptune 4, and this is much, much quicker. So from the Elegoo website, Neptune 2S, uh, it does say fast printing here, and the print speed is 30 to 180 millimeters per second, and the Neptune 4, 500 millimeters per second max speed. So it's gonna be much, much quicker and it does have a very cool operating system. So let's have a look in the box. Oh, it's nicely packed. So here's the contents of the box. Not too many bits to have to put together. Uh, I've got a cable cutter, USB stick. Uh, this says giveaway, which has got an SD card in a little reader. Uh, not very much filament, um, so you're gonna need more filament if you wanna use it properly. Uh, various different screws and things. The display looks cool, so this is a touchscreen device and uh, it's on this curly cable so you can hold it up to you to be able to use it. Got an Ethernet cable, USB-A to USB-B, like a printer cable, various tools, uh, everything I need. A plastic scrape, I had a metal one before and I did manage to damage the bed on the old one uh, by scraping it a bit too hard, so this should be better. So let's get it all set up. The first thing it recommends is to set the voltage, well mine is set to 230, so that's fine for the UK. Setup was pretty easy, all the bolts were nicely labelled, and uh, I think there was less bits to put together than the Elegoo Neptune 2S that I had before. So four big screws going into the bottom here with an Allen key, all the tools are supplied and everything, and uh, then just fitting this side bit on to mount the display, plugging the cable in, and this is to hold the filament on the top, plugging in the little cable in the little cable guides that are there. Nice firm fittings and all the little connectors, there's only one way they can go in and they all seem to be different sizes so it doesn't look like you can get it wrong. Uh, I did, in my Neptune 2S, I did get it wrong the first time and the horizontal and vertical uh, axis I got wrong. So screwing on the fans here. So I've just switched it on and it's launching the software for the first time. And here we are, nice looking menus. Uh, so level, this operation will trigger the return to zero action, whether to continue, confirm. You do get cable ties uh, in there and I'll work out sort of where things move as to where I want to cable tie everything. So it's just going through all the different settings and things. Everything seems to be moving nice and clearly. Now I should be able to control this from a browser as long as I plug in an ethernet cable. So let's plug that in to give it an internet connection. And let's go to settings and about machine. And we've got an IP address now. So if I type that into my Chrome browser and hit return, it connects. And so we have loads of control over the printer. What have we got on the left hand side? We've got terminal, various information here. Crikey, there's lots of information here. Uh, bed, mesh, configuration files, system information, all the settings. Yeah, this is super impressive. Really responsive as well. And we've even got things like theme here. File editor, authentication, macros, cameras. Oh, and you can add a, a webcam. Oh, let's plug one in. I think my son's got one upstairs I can use. He's currently in Greece, so he doesn't need it. So let's try plugging this into the USB socket on the front. I think it's the only USB-A socket it's got. Let's go with add camera. Let's just call it test for now. So cameras all, cameras test. Ah, here we go, we're on. And I can set that up so I can monitor my prints. You can see where it's plugged in in the USB-A socket here. Uh, and here is the display and my iPad that I'm currently viewing on. Very impressive. So I've just plugged the USB stick into my little Melee Mini PC. 
and uh, I've just had this arrive so thanks very much to Cytron for sending me this Compute Module 4 and thanks to Orange Pi for sending me this Orange Pi 5 Plus they both arrived on the same delivery uh, so let's go into Windows 11 and open it up so it's this one here so I've already put a Thingiverse folder here because I was doing a little bit of testing earlier on but this is what it comes with uh, so there's the Buddha to be able to print out there's some um, models that you can print out, user manual, software and yeah, here's the Elegoo software user guide, Cura and this must be the Windows one the DMG would be a Mac one so let's open that I've already got Elegoo software on there for Cura for the Neptune 2S but I'm going to install this one because that one I was using was an old version I'm happy to open STL files with Cura and install okay so that's all unpacked let's hit next to install so let's finish you can see it's come up with Elegoo Neptune 2 add a printer add a non-networked printer Elegoo oh yeah Neptune 4 it's in there and add Obviously I can do it over the network, but I'm going to do it just with a USB stick at the moment, just because it's in my garage, uh, and it means I don't have to set up any internet connection or anything. So let's import something I found earlier on. So open files, go back to that USB stick, because I downloaded it on my iPad onto there, in this Thingiverse folder. And the files are here. So let's do this one, and hit open. And in the Thingiverse recommendations, they had quality at 0.2 and infill density of 25%. And we'll just check the print speed. So print speed, 300 millimeter per second. Let's go with that for now. And save that on the USB stick. And down into here. And let's do prepare, extruder and load. And that's grabbed that and pulled it down. Okay, so it's automatically leveling itself. You can see it going through all the settings. And we need to lower that a bit. And a little bit more. Yeah, that's grabbing a bit too much. There's a little bit of friction there. I'm not sure if that's enough or not. Let's try a bit lower. Bit low. It's very fine. Yeah, there's a bit of friction there, but not very much. Let's try that. Okay, so I've started printing from my USB stick, and you can see that uh, it actually goes really, really fast. It's not been going very long. Uh, it does say 42 minutes, but I don't think it's going to take anything like as long as that. Uh, it's already 7% through. And you can see the speed changes. So 35, 250, it's gone up to there. So that's the fastest millimeters per second that it prints but I'll come back when it's all done I put my ring doorbell next to it to be able to monitor the print and I'll be able to see when it's done from indoors okay so we're about 10 minutes in so let's just have a look and see how it's getting on it did seem really really fast yeah it's getting there it's done the sort of main bit it's going to go onto the thread now I do like the fact that I've got lights on here so I can turn on the LED light and even the one on the observation light as well so that turns on this one underneath that's very cool I didn't have that before okay so it's just finishing now and it's looking very neat that's come off nicely let's have a look at it in some better light so this is a thread uh, and you can see the thread looks lovely and clean uh, all the little diamonds around the side look very nice that's where it was attached to the bed and the top of it is nice and smooth yeah really impressed with that let's try printing out some of the other bits uh, so let's download this on the desktop let's have a look let's just grab the files and open them up in Cura. So are we gonna try and do 500 mil? All the other settings should be the same, 0.2 and 25 infill. Let's save that on my USB stick. 
is it going to be able to reach 500 millimeters per second on this tiny item okay so 60 at the moment doing the first bit i guess that's to be safe to make sure it sticks well so the highest i've seen is 250 i think it's just too small an item to be able to print at 500 millimeters per second maybe we'll try on the other bit which is much bigger happy to say that the thread works absolutely fine nice and smooth yeah, I reckon this sort of size of object should be more likely to be able to print at a much faster speed. 95 at the moment. It's definitely doing a lot of it at 250, which is nice and fast. Okay, so it's all finished and uh, it's worked really, really well. It's lovely and solid. Uh, it really does feel very strong. I need to do this setting for my car charger, really. Uh, it will be much, much better. So let's have a look at some of the specs. So what do they say here? 500 millimeters per second max speed, USB and LAN printing, auxiliary and auto leveling, 121 points, seven ball bearing cooling fans, and 300 degree centigrade nozzle with a dual gear direct drive extruder. Now I don't know loads about uh, 3D printers, but I'm really impressed with the two I've been sent. So the 2S I've been using over the last year and uh, I printed out all sorts of things, Raspberry Pi cases, Orange Pi cases. I've got a tripod mount, which I use all the time. And this just means that I can do it so much quicker. Software-wise as well, that clipper software with that screen, especially that you can take it off and hold it in your hand when you're using it. Yeah, really, really good implementation. Now, I didn't manage to get 500 millimeters per second, but I definitely got 250 on a regular basis. And the quality was still really good and that's way faster than my old printer. And I've got other videos on my site about 3D printing. I did a video when I first set up the Neptune 2S, uh, and I also went into how much electricity does 3D printing cost. It's very, very little. It's actually really cheap to 3D print, uh, especially when you buy a spool of filament as well. That doesn't cost very much, and there's so many great things you can print out, and I will be printing another one of this car charger. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks to Elegoo for sending it to me. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.